Now, Tony, some people um, have said things like, well, this isn't really a revelation. He's just responding to political pressure. What would you say to that? I would say all revelation <laughs> is a response to cultural conditions and needs uh, of God's people. All revelation is. Uh, you, you could read the Doctrine and Covenants as a whole, and nearly every one of those revelations are a response to temporal, mortal, cultural conditions of the time. That's an interesting point, Tony. Think about Exodus. The people were in bondage, and God comes, inserts himself into history, and provides revelation to change a situation that was oppressive, that could only really be fixed with God intervening. And God basically said to the saints through Wilfred Woodruff, it is not my will for you to go into bondage to the United States because of this one practice. And so we see that God will provide revelation as needed to his people. We should expect God to participate in our lives. Before, before we go on with what Taylor just said, if we didn't think God was responding, giving revelation based off cultural conditions, then we would have no word of wisdom. Right. Because without conspiring men in the latter days, the Lord doesn't need to give a revelation called the word of wisdom. Right. Uh, if we didn't think the Lord gave revelation responding to cultural conditions, we wouldn't have all these wonderful teachings helping us to combat pornography, for example. Because if pornography didn't exist, the Lord wouldn't give these revelations regarding it. All revelation is a response to the needs, conditions, and culture that his children find themselves in. I, I, love, I love how he's saying, we thank thee, O God, for a prophet to guide us in these yeah. latter days. It's not, we don't thank him for a prophet to guide us through the ancient days, because those aren't our days. So it's beautiful that Wilford Woodruff is living in his culture, his environment, his political climate of that day, and making decisions that are necessary for the church to be able to move forward and for the kingdom of God to, to roll forth. And that's always the question. What's needed within that time and that setting and that context to keep the kingdom moving that's forward? It. And that was his question at the time.